Welcome back to MPT. In this video, I will describe what C-band is and why it is so important for 5G and 6G systems. Be sure to watch to the end and you'll learn the ins and outs of 5G C-band. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. There's been much talk and marketing hype from the carriers on 5G and how it will revolutionize wireless communications. Much of that excitement has been around the C-band systems, but what exactly is C-band and why is it so special and important for 5G? Let's start with a short history of C-band and description of it so you know exactly what it is. Traditionally, C-band was used mostly for satellite communications. The image shows a typical C-band satellite terminal. Those types of antennas were large, on the order of 12 feet to 3 to 4 meters in diameter, which was required for the link to the satellite, which is 22,000 miles away. They were commonly used until the invention of the more modern satellite TV dishes that everyone is familiar with. C-band has found a new home with the advent of 5G and 6G mobile systems. For example, this figure shows international wireless community adoption of C-band as a major frequency range for 5G deployments. Strictly speaking, C-band is defined as 4 to 6 gigahertz, but many in the wireless communications community use C-band to extend down to 3.3 gigahertz. However, the point is that most countries have set 3.3 to 6 gigahertz range as a major amount of spectrum for 5G. In fact, in the United States, the Federal Communications Commission has set several frequency spectrum options in this range, and they have raised over $100 billion, as can be seen in the table. And that's only for three auctions in one country. Note that C-band has been described here, and now let me answer the question of why there is so much interest in it for 5G applications. In other words, why is there so much money and human capital being invested into C-band for 5G? There are three main reasons. They are bandwidth, bandwidth, and bandwidth. <laughs> By bandwidth, I mean frequency bandwidth. Increased frequency bandwidth translates directly to increased user download speeds. C-band can allow carriers hundreds of megahertz of spectrum. For instance, the block A and B portions of the FCC auction 107 are 100 megahertz each. There are other reasons too besides bandwidth. One of them is how radio waves propagate at C-band. As can be seen in the table, C-band is on the electromagnetic electromagnetic spectrum between the wireless low band of 1 gigahertz and the high band of 24 to 47 gigahertz. The low band offers long range and moderate speeds. Range is a distance from the cellular tower to the access point. Longer range means that you can be further from the access point and still get bars on your phone. The millimeter wave band offers shorter range but higher speeds. C-band is between those two bands and can offer high speeds and good range. In the table, line of sight means that there needs to be a direct line from the access point to the user mobile device. There cannot be a building, tree, or other obstruction between them. For the millimeter wave frequencies, there must be a clear line of sight from the user to the access point. However, for the low band, the wireless signals can actually pass through walls and can go through many other types of obstructions. C-band is not as good as a low band at overcoming obstructions, but it's better than the millimeter wave bands, which cannot tolerate obstructions at all. Another reason C-band is attractive is that all things being equal, the antennas can be smaller compared to the low bands. This is simply due to physics. Lower frequencies have longer wavelengths, which means bigger antennas. In fact, C-band antenna elements can be one-third to one-fourth the size of the low bands. In this video, we've discussed what C-band is, why it's so important for 5G systems. I think that you'll agree that these are significant advantages compared to the other frequency bands. If you're in the market for a phased array for 5G or other application, then consider the experts here at MPT. Until next time, this is Rick Sturdivant with MPT.